Hello everyone, I'm Felix. Recently, I finished a LED Wi-Fi clock. I will show it to you and tell you how to make it. This clock can display the time, and、uh, it will start to screw after an interval time. It can display the year, month, day, week, indoor and outdoor temperature. The display style is configurable. As the ESP8266 clock, it uses the NTP network time synchronization. It will synchronize with the NTP server every hour to ensure the accuracy of the clock. An external photoresistor is connected, which can realize automatic brightness control according to the ambient light intensity. Can avoid deadening your eyes at night. An external DS18B20 is connected, which can get real-time temperature. The temperature behind is the real-time outdoor temperature. It is get through the internet using the weather API. I spent a long time in reaching the functions on the software. I made a lot of configurable options. You can configure in the web page. I also made the ODA upgrade function. If new features are added, I can push the firmware to everyone. It's easy to configure Wi-Fi. You only need to connect your mobile phone to the access point established by Wi-Fi clock, and it will automatically open a web page. After selecting SSID and entering password. You can complete the Wi-Fi configuration. After connecting to Wi-Fi, you can access the configuration page through the IP address of Wi-Fi clock. There is a scrolling screen for playing text at the bottom of the home page. You can control the clock to display text information at any time. You can set your time zone and daylight saving time here, and you can set up an NTP server here. Two NTP servers are built in the program. If the NTP server you set here is not available, the built-in server will be used. And next is the weather API setting. You need to register in Open Weather Map and search for your city. It is free. If you don't need the outdoor temperature, you don't need to set it. This page is a style setting: 12 or 24 hours clock, weather to display seconds. And if time emanation is turned off, there will be no time falling. You can select different date style: weather to display year, the week show digital or English. Weather to display indoor and outdoor temperature and temperature unit. This rolling interval means how often to start scrolling. You can correct the value of DS18B20 by the temperature compensation value. This is the current screen brightness level. You can press the refresh button to refresh it. And then is the automatic brightness switch. If you don't connect、uh, the photoresistor, don't turn on this switch. Level is the sensitivity of automatic brightness. The higher the value, the higher LED brightness at the same ambient brightness. Fixed brightness value will enable only when auto brightness is off. And if the LED is too dark when the ambient brightness is low, you can increase the minimum brightness value. You can see the current version here, and you can upload .bin file manually or check for updates from the server. If there are some important updates, I can push the firmware to you. Wi-Fi clock can be upgraded automatically. And next, I will teach you how to make it. You can buy all these things on AliExpress. It's a C2C shopping website. 
provide service to global customers and support cheap international transportation. This is a Node MCU V3, which with a ESP8266 inside. I used a CP2102 chip, and CH340 is either fan. This is a Max 7219 4-in-1 LED model. You can choose red, green, or blue. This is DS18B20 model, GL5539, and 10 kilo resistance. These are optional. If you don't need room temperature and auto brightness, you may not buy it. The DS18B20 model has its own pull-up resistor. If you can't buy a model, you can buy a common DS18B20 and a 4.7 kilo resistor. It's equivalent to DS18B20 model. GR5539 and 10 kilo resistance are for auto brightness. The case of the clock I made with acrylic connect with copper post. I don't know if you can easily buy these materials. Acrylics need laser cutting. If you can, you can ask me for .CDR laser cutting drawings. If acrylic is not placed in front of the LED, the display effect will be poor. Or you can use other materials to make the case, like 3D printing. You can find varying diagrams and software on GitHub. If you are using the Arduino IDE for the first time, you need to install the ESP8266 board first. And then you can open webupdate.ino, modify Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. After upload to board, open web page and upload the latest .bin file. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you need to add new features, you can also email me. Thank you.